Desmond Bain, the 23-year-old breakout of the Memphis Grizzlies, making more headlines as the weeks go by after four seasons at TCU, being the starting small forward on the team with the second best regular season record in just his second season, quickly establishing himself as one of the most elite outside shooters, reliable range, already a near 20-point score, playing just under 30 minutes. Selected 30th in the 2020 draft class just before the bubble, many NBA fans just 18 months ago never heard of Bain wasn't on anybody's radar outside of Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman, and LaMelo Ball. From many mock drafts like NBC Sports, Sporting News had him going 26, Bleacher Report 28 overall. Before the official draft, Bain was officially drafted by the Boston Celtics, having a total of three first round picks, taking Aaron Neesmith at 14, Peyton Pritchard 26. Bain still on board at 30, but part of a three-team trade involving Ennis Kanter to the Blazers, Memphis gave up two second rounders to Boston, Blazers traded Mario Herzonia to Memphis, Bain became one of the slept on players in this class, a relatively weak draft at the time, a potential secondary playmaker, had work ethic with a style that fitted the modern NBA. From humble beginnings in a tough childhood, born in Richmond, Indiana, June 25, 1998, Bain moved numerous times as a baby to the point that his great-grandmother had to step in and raise him. Growing up, at the time Desmond was born, his mother was around 18 or 19 years old, not knowing much about his father. Young Desmond found out his dad lives in Africa when he was 13, while his mom's side of the family moved to Richmond. Young Desmond attended Seton Catholic, guided by his great-grandparents. Basketball actually wasn't Desmond's first love of sports growing up, it was baseball up until the 8th grade. His great-grandfather Bob coached the youth, didn't fully commit to hoops until after his first year in high school school. By the time his senior season, Desmond averaged 30 points, 11 and a half boards, posted a 71 and 27 record over his time at the school before his arrival. His high school never even had a winning season or a sectional title. Bain won three of those championships. Although his talents were inevitable, Bain never felt any more special than anybody else, but there were many what ifs since he balled out at the smaller school, quickly silenced his critics, but his stellar performances never seemed to be enough, coaches were turned off by his 6'4 wingspan, wasn't ideal considering he was 6'5, no legitimate scouting report, which made Desmond question himself whether he could play at the highest level because from the lack of contact from big schools such as the Purdue's and Indiana's of the world, instead of getting rattled and being upset over it, Bain proved himself more by playing AAU the spring after his senior season. Assistant TCU coach at the time, Ryan Miller, got word of a low-key kid from Indy and was immediately hooked. The following month on his official visit, the Horned Frogs offered him a scholarship. With the opportunity and excitement, given Bain consistent work ethic, his grind didn't slow for a bit. Every time Coach Miller heard the ball bounce after dark when he was in his office, he didn't have to look twice and knew exactly who was shooting. From committing two weeks before graduating high school in 2016, the big prospects from his graduating class around the nation, the likes of Harry Giles, Jason Tatum, and Lonzo Ball, Bain better than some of these guys six years later. The college game didn't come natural at first. A huge learning curve, started 13 of 39 games as a freshman, averaged 7.1 points, won an NIT championship, listed at 6'5", 215, Bain wasn't even close to NBA talks, while the best players from his 2016 high school year, most of them ended up lottery picks, an unorthodox form from 3 but connected on 38% as a freshman, one of the late boomers at the time when guys like Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball was getting $7 million a year as rookies, Bain wasn't even thinking about the NBA. NBA, just like thousands of Division I hoopers just wanting to produce and having an effective collegiate career. But after an invite to the USA Under-19 World Cup team camp, Desmond competed with PJ Washington, Emmanuel Quickly, Kevin Herter, and Josh Okoki, all were going to be NBA players selected first round. That camp gave Desmond the confidence knowing he could potentially make the NBA. And when I first got here, like, TCU basketball was almost irrelevant. Like, not a lot of people really talked about it. So every time I walked around campus, 
People would say, you play football? And I would say no, and then they would just keep walking. <laughs> His second season in college, a full-time starter, averaged 12 and a half points, 54% shooting, over 46 from deep, posted a 21 and 12 record, still not much NBA bust until year three, the 2019 year, when he became the best player on his team, averaged over 15 a game, Bain bursted onto the scene his senior year, nicknamed Honey Bun because of his thickness, built very physical, huge biceps, changed his diet after realizing he had pro potential. Many players even getting a little bit of noise would have immediately gone to the draft. Bain tested the waters and worked out that summer, pitched the two-way and exhibit 10 deals. Bain with assistant coach Miller, who's the younger brother of Mike Miller, saw what it took for his older brother to make the NBA. Bain would remain in the gym hungry during summer times, discussing improvements and workout plans with coach Miller. Bain would emulate Danny Green's moves into his workouts, believing he can do everything Green can on the court. Went up the rankings, challenged himself to all-star status, examined the ways guys like Devin Booker, how he gets his shots off pin downs, how Klay Thompson scores moving without the ball, multiple workout routines established, maximized his strengths and limited his weaknesses. Bain shocked the nation after defeating number two Baylor just a few weeks before the pandemic shut down. Bain dropped 23 points on five threes and look who tweeted about that game. Sometimes things do come in full circle. Performances like these gave Bain more confidence, knowing he's good enough to play against the best after months of quarantining throughout the entire nation. Ended his senior year, averaging over 16.5 points, 6.5 boards, 4 assists, 44 from deep, led the Big 12 in 3 point percentage. The defense and range, even videos of him hitting 43 straight threes circulating on social media, created more hype. Finished third all time in TCU scoring history. Bain being 22 at the time getting drafted, compared to the likes of Courtney Lee, can be seen as a huge role piece, space the floor with a big body, NBA scouts fall in love with the long wingspans too much at times, doesn't always translate, although he wasn't the best athlete, not naturally quick, has super hot stretches, can take over for a 10 minute stretch, but other times can disappear for entire halves on numerous occasions, but when hot, one of the most lethal shooters, similar cases as we've seen him with Memphis. Everybody besides the top three of Edwards, Wiseman's, and Ball up for graphs ended up on a young Memphis team on the rise. Desmond ignited the rebuild faster. The team came up short in the playing bubble, but little did anyone know, the last pick of the first round in the draft months after would be the second leading scorer behind Moran. A year and a half later, on a 56 win team, Bain came off the bench most of his rookie season, averaged 9.2 points in 22 minutes, very good from 3 at 43%, similar to his college rate. Just like what he focused on in college, by maximizing his strength, Baines went from shooting 4 threes a game as a rookie to 7 attempts year 2, his breakout to basketball mainstream, giving all indications, might be looking at a contract extension in the 20 to 30 million dollar range per year, the tier he's been on, the huge shot attempts with the efficiency truly stood out, projected as a ready to go prospect given his age, but the T-Rex arms many refer to, most of the NBA was turned off by the shorter wingspan, with the modern league obsessed with 3 and D guys that can guard 1 to 4 with long arms, given it was clear he was the best shooter of any prospect in the 2020 class. Combined with staying all four years in college at a not so known school in TCU, nowhere near the noise of a Kansas, Duke, or Kentucky powerhouse, not many four year guys get picked top 10 these days. Not only does Bain just spot up, but can take more dribbles and finish in the paint, the NBA scouting also in love with the one and dones too much, who won't be a huge contributor right away, but guys who are insanely athletic with huge upside, which is also why some of the better second year players in the same class, Therese Halliburton fell to 12, Sadim Bay of the Pistons, similar to Bain in terms of production, fell to 19 overall, and Tyrese Maxey dropped to 21. Teams often gamble on guys who might figure out how to turn their raw athletic gifts into a skill set. The players outside of the top three picked over Halliburton and Bain at the very moment. None of those guys highlighted would come close to making an inch of an impact for a playoff team like what Bain 
has been doing with the Grizzlies. Imagine a team like the Phoenix Suns or Atlanta Hawks would have taken Bain in the lottery. Bain came in with Xavier Tillman out of Michigan State for the Grizzlies team. Desmond, second team all rookie. The work ethic dating back to his childhood paid off, took it to another level in the offseason. Not having the opportunity to compete in Summer League for 2020, Bain participated after making all rookie second team, giving the Grizzlies more confidence and trust in their second year two guard. The perfect complement with rising super. Superstar Moran filled the gap for the feisty defensive minded Dylan Brooks being out 50 games, a rising defensive young big in Jared Jackson Jr. Having the big physical strong Steven Adams set screams and help Desmond get good looks. The defensive 23 year old DeAnthony Melton, energetic Brandon Clark, the death of Sire Smith and Kyle Anderson, one of the deepest teams, nine players averaging over 21 minutes a game, nobody besides Ja over 30 minutes, a combination of unselfish vets and Adams. The oldest guy on the roster, just 28 years old, Bain allowing his skills to flourish and the team having fun with an understanding of how to maximize the team's output. The reason why Memphis already tied a franchise record best with 56 wins, Bain's skill set Develop into an off the dribble guy. Really shine when Moran missed plenty of games. Average over 18 points, four and a half boards, four 30 plus point games. The team still under the radar the beginning of the season. Until January 9th, a win over the Lakers improved Memphis to 28 and 14. After getting into a trash talk with LeBron, Bain scored a layup, a little bump, telling James them footsteps ain't scaring nobody, and LeBron offended, took exception. The Grizz ended up 3 and 1 worse the Lakers in the season to put the whole league on notice, showing they were no pushover. Only Luke Kennard finished the 2022 season a better 3 point percentage than Bain. A walking bucket, him and Murray making headlines for potentially the best rising young backcourt in the league has the potential to become one of the best 3 point shooters over the next decade already gotten some all-star votes, possibly a future all-star one day. The poison pump fix with his shorter wingspans perhaps gives him a tighter grip and allows for strong handles, a reason for Memphis to give away the improved Grayson Allen, knowing he's up for an extension and rightfully so, allowed Bain for more shots on a rookie deal, became even more known after a spectacular first round series versus Minnesota with Morant struggling. Bain stepped up, averaged 23 and a half points, 50% shooting from the field, 49 from deep in 38 minutes. Out play Carl Anthony Towns, out scored D'Angelo Russell and Patrick Beverly combined the whole series, proving his effectiveness. When Morant getting all the double teamed, the good looks making Minnesota pay the seven threes made in Game Three, down 20 plus, and the comeback to win. The Memphis Grizzlies will be a huge problem for years to come. Dropped 25 in game 5 with Ja taking over down the stretch, good defense, made 2 triples in the 4th quarter of game 6, another comeback win. Now in the middle of a series against the firepower Golden State Warriors, dealing with a back injury, hasn't looked the same the first 2 games, but as far as we know, Desmond Baines' impact with the Memphis Grizzlies and deadly shooting abilities after teammate Moran gave Desmond the award. On a bright franchise and a bright very good player flourishing before our eyes, if they consistent habit continues for the coming years, we could be seeing a multiple time all-star and a 20 plus point score for years to come, consider one of the biggest deals in the 2020 draft. All the other teams still stuck in bad positions absolutely already regret passing him up. With his basketball career born in silence from the quiet state of Indiana to becoming one of the top players on one of the best bright young teams, small market Memphis will only get more national coverage for the coming years. The rise of Desmond Bay and the future ceiling much to be enjoyed cherished about and witness thank you so much for watching this video what are your thoughts on desmond bain will he become a future all-star let me know in the comments below i love all of you see you next time